What's going on with the peeps? Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. What's good with it? What's good with it, man? This is your boy Azakar, man. Bring you that heat like I always do. So you already know. Like this video, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll be thrown in the loop every time or left in the algorithm every time I will drop any type of content. Yo, HBO, man. I'm trying to hit the, hit the subscribers on up, man. I try to get at least about three or four, five subscribers each day, man. So you like the content, you checking it out, holler at your boy, man. Holler at your boy, HBO, uh, 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 Cash App, PayPal, Musa Asakar, man. So fuck with your boy, man. Right quick, we finna, we finna uh, drop this, this heat that I got on my timeline, on the book right quick. Shit crazy. Shit is crazy. But before I cook off into it, let me read this copyright disclaimer. So there won't be any discrepancies in the video. There won't be any disclaimers. Oh yeah, copyright uh, disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use of purposes of criticism, comment, news report, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use of use permitted by the st uh, copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. So let's go ahead and cook on this. Uh, this is from the Washington Post. Washington Post just came out uh, yesterday. Wow, nobody really talked about it. A black softball player was forced to cut her hair off at the player at the game. Cut her, she got to cut her hair beads out for the game. Ain't it crazy? And she said she felt humiliated. Nicole Powell was standing near home plate with a bat on her shoulder last month when one of the umpires stopped her high school football softball game. That's crazy. Ain't it? Hold up, man. We need to stop right here. Look what you got in your hair. Them damn, them damn beads. Let them motherfuckers go. Powers was 16, wanted to continue playing for her Durham, North Carolina team. The umpire told Colder, told the coach she would have to take the beads out of her hair. The sophomore who was black agreed, but some of the beads were wrapped in tightly into, around her braids. Powers said that her teammates had to cut them out. Golly, you can't even be yourself. Uh, and don't you have a helmet on during football, uh, baseball? I mean, damn, man. I, I, I. Ooh, we boy, motherfuckers just being they feelings. You know that? They motherfucking feelings. She said, "I felt embarrassed, and I almost definitely felt disrespected." Plies told the South Carolina Coalition for Social Justice this week. I felt it just felt like the world was staring at me. Why me? Now, Powell's and her family, who described the incident discriminatory, uh, are now asking her school district in North Carolina High School Athletic Association to attack pol policies ensuring that no black student athlete faces similar rep repercussions uh, because of their hair. That's, that's fucked up, man. Look who we, who, look who else we living up under. You know what I'm saying? They always gonna have to make these old rules up and shit. And, and just try to make it hard for us to get by day by day. You know, we were, we were brought in to, to face difficulties and overcome them. But, you know, it's like well, we always got to go through some shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, like this video, man. Let me leave a link in the description box. Like this video, share, and subscribe. Get them PayPal's and get their K, uh, cash app up. Moose Asakar. Peace and bottle haggards, people.
That's the good news. That's the glad tidings.